Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Algorand. Before we jump into the price action, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And why not leave us some feedback down below. If you're new to the channel, um, hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the latest Algo um, videos. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm still cautious about changing this location of this fifth wave and I am looking at the potential of this poten having a flat correction here and this would be the target zone we'd really be looking for this 2315 to this 2222 however I am also being mindful within this structure that there is some potential for extension so we're going to go over that within the video and there would be a much more bullish count within this within this structure um, and basically we're going to go through a couple of things so within this current structure, what we'd be looking for is actually a five wave move to the downside to complete the C wave. So there's a few things we need to talk about. We've actually come down here and we've reached the, um, if I just throw this on the top here, we've actually reached this one to one of this A wave already at this 2376. So we need to be aware that the C wave could actually complete here, though the internal structures are suggesting we have a little bit lower to come. Um, it is possible that we actually complete into this zone. If this is the case, we could actually be looking at this as a flat correction here, completed, and then we'll be looking for a continuation to the upside. Though until we actually break above this 2645, we need to bear in mind we can actually look to extend to the downside here. So we're going to go over that option now. So within this structure, what I'm looking at is this potential here. So if we have a look at this, we can see that we have this as a 1, 2, Potentially this is a one, two, three, four, five. And then we're actually looking for a flat correction here, which for the most part seems to fit the structure as we have it at the moment. And we can argue that we are going to see a little bit of a push up here in a five wave move for this uh, fourth wave. So what we'd be looking for here is actually a rejection within this box area. And we can see the lower range of this would actually tie into actually retesting this, um, this channel line that we went through and now we've actually broken back into. So it is possible we could look to actually push down here. So another interesting thing about this is potentially we can look at this as a channel to the upside as well. And what we could be looking for within this structure effectively would then be looking to actually to see if we actually come down and retest this zone. So the lower end of this would actually be um, within within this uh, teal box area that we have at the bottom here. So if we do have this push up and an additional leg to the downside, it's possible that we could actually look to move deeper into this zone. And depending on how high our fourth wave retraces, we could actually look for this continuation to the downside. If we go to this 382, we can see this moves this target zone down to this 2327 to this 2287. If we come back up and test the top end of this move, effectively it would be 20. 2320 all the way to 2268 so this is something that i'm just keeping an eye on within this structure we've actually set a lower low here so we can argue that we've ended in a diagonal um, potentially here but the structure isn't great in the subway so i am still looking at this as a corrective four unless we actually move up past this point of this 2585 so another thing i want to talk about here is because there's a little bit there's a few ways we can read this move so we can potentially read this as a one two three four five with an extension in the fifth wave of the third um here so that way would actually be completed here um at this point but like i said we've come lower here so if we do get a bigger move up to this yellow box area this 2574 to this 2481 I would be getting I would be careful of a rejection because this would be looking for the potential that we could actually look to extend down further. We have this five wave move and like I said I am looking at it currently as this ending wave of the C wave. But if we move down here, even if we do get this fourth wave still, so if we complete to the downside here, we come back up, we face rejection and then we start to form another five wave move to the downside, we can either look at this as a zigzag pattern or alternatively this could turn into an impulsive structure so it depends exactly how deep we end up going within this structure but if we do continue to form these um if we can't manage to break back above this high point of this 2646 
we could actually be setting up for a deeper drop and we've been talking about this for a while potentially coming back into this zone here of this 20 uh 20 cent 36 to the 1775 so it is possible that we can shift this over slightly i don't really want to but we can argue that this is a one two three four five and then this is a bigger fourth wave the only thing i don't like is in relation to the wave two then it would be quite massive um and then you can argue that you actually finish into this high point as a diagonal but i don't really like that structure so if we're going to keep the look as this for five wave move to the upside and we're looking for this retracement the next likely thing would be that it would be getting complex and what we'd then be looking for is the potential that we have this as an a wave we actually push back up for a b wave and then we have that c wave to the downside and that could actually t take us down towards this zone though we would also need to see how we react around this previous fourth wave here if that is the case because we might fall short and look to test this zone and then look to progress to the upside so that's that's basically what we're looking at here if we do manage to find support either in this box area or at this fourth wave location we can start talking about potentially moving up in another five wave move so if it was this fourth wave location potentially up to this three 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 one if we came down lower into this yellow box that one to one would be lower as well which would be this 3066 at the 0 0.6 retracement and then obviously if we go deeper it moves this target zone like i said it is also possible for us to become a bigger five wave structure where we look at this as potentially a one two and then we look for that three four and then a five to the upside and that would be become a, a bigger impulsive structure in this case and that would look to potentially take us up over this previous fourth wave that we were looking at um, in one of the previous videos so we're going to go over a little bit of the macro stuff in a second but basically this is what i'm looking out for if we fail to develop this and we actually just break down and we lose this low point here of this 1598 then we would have to look at this as potentially in the a diagonal um and what we'd have to look at is then that this is a one two and then we'd be looking for an additional push to the downside and another zigzag for the wave three so that's what i'll be looking for so if we fail to hold this yellow box area it becomes quite likely that we're going to break this 1598 though obviously confirmation only comes by crossing it so this is this is how we're looking at it as a five way move so we have to keep uh the options open that we might have some extension and if i turn this off for a second uh, where is it that one. if i turn that off for a second basically what we can see here is that we are actually sitting right in the support box um and this would be looking at this move slightly different this would be looking at this as a diagonal for this um wave one here and then potentially we could look to form a wave two this isn't my favorite option um and it's it's not really uh, my preferred count but it is still possible so if we do start to see some impulsive movements to the upside here what i would be looking for with this to confirm is basically to see five wave structure and this five wave structure would need to take this b wave high but it would also need to reach this area of this 2970 so what we'd want to see is basically a setting up of a one and a two a higher low here then potentially that third wave breaking through here fourth and then a fifth to the upside obviously this this third wave would need to be a bit more substantial than that to actually get up there um but what we'd want to see is basically five wave structure developing to the upside and setting up these higher low patterns uh, you know these higher lows as we go rather and then looking to target up if we do actually look at an extension here we could potentially push up towards this 3297 to this 3161 this is obviously not confirmed yet and we'd have to see how this reacts because if we lose this low of this 2288 it would invalidate this um, circled green wave count and then basically losing this 2076 would invalidate this um, this other green count here so basically within this what we'd be looking at is the fact that instead of having this as a um, as a flat from here we would have just been setting up another one two one this would be a flat for a wave two and then basically would be looking for this to push to the upside so if we do actually start pushing up here and starting to, uh, starting to get some five wave structure like i said it is also possible for this move to have one more leg to the downside so if we do complete that leg down it could potentially look to test this channel 
and then we move up if this is if this is the option that's going to play out but we can't cross this 2288 for this potential option if we cross lower than that area then it invalidates this move but if we do actually break down here find that support and look to push up in five wave structure we could actually look to potentially move up to this 2970 as a impulsive structure if this is going to be the case but like i said we'd want to see um a bigger five wave pattern develop within this area and we'd want to see um this thing start to sort of move to the upside here quite quickly we want to see the volume come in behind the moves as well failing that there is another way that we can look to push up and we were talking about this i've changed this slightly from how i was looking at it um, i was looking at this potentially as a w x y x z but looking at the structure if it is going to continue to the upside it's more likely that it's actually going to just be a wxy where this is an a b and a c into here we get this as a connector wave and then we look to form this is an a wave a b wave into the support zone and then actually looking to push up one more time so we can see that this b wave support zone actually um, sits within this flat correction area as well so if we do get this play out basically what we could be looking for if we come back and sort of retest towards the bottom of this move we could be looking at a one to one of this two eight eight nine and this could then complete a, a three wave pattern to the upside so this would just be a w x and a y at that point so if we fail to actually push up to those impulsive targets then we'd have to be careful because effectively we could just have this play out as a three wave move and then we we actually lose we actually um, fail to achieve those extra fourth and fifth waves and then we would actually be looking if this is just a corrective structure we'd be looking to actually break down further and actually continue the bear market so until we actually get that bullish confirmation out of these moves we need to just be aware that there is still potential to break this low and move lower so that is the bearish potential that we're looking at here um, it's, it has obviously got some bullish moves in here but this move the, this structure would actually indicate that we are going to retrace down and potentially look to take out this low point and set a new low so ideally if we want to continue to the upside we don't want to see corrective structure we want to see um five wave moves and like i said if we get that extension in here then we can actually look at this as a bigger five wave structure to the upside which would mean that we are trending up until that point comes we need to be aware that this could actually break down still okay so this is this is the um basically looking at this as a corrective structure so the important thing here really is whether we manage to hold these lows if we fail to hold these lows then i am anticipating a drop deeper down into this zone there will will probably be a bounce if this is the case if we if we move down and we take this low it is possible like i said that we come back up for that as a wave to potentially look to retest some of these zones and then look to push down with a deeper five wave structure um and then look to move into this yellow box area some areas of interest obviously as resistance could potentially be the top of this channel again and alternatively looking at the um bottom channel as a potential support zone if we look to actually retest it we could come back into this area here and look to retest it so the the area at the moment like i said is 2036 to the 1775 so that's a zone we could actually look to break down to but we'd have to lose these lows here um like i said this 2287 and then this one here of this 2076 okay so from a macro standpoint i'm still looking at this in a few ways so unfortunately nothing's really invalidated um besides the primary way that i was looking at it if i come back out here on the daily <clears throat> I was looking at this potentially as being a, a deeper fifth wave here where this is a one two three four and then actually we're looking for a fifth wave to the downside so it hasn't really invalidated because invalidation only really comes by moving back above this 4487 and what could potentially still happen here is because we just have a three wave structure here it's very messy to try and count this as a five wave move so it is possible we could see something still play out like this where we form a diagonal to the downside which actually looks to bring us down to this um to this 0915 if we drop past this 0915 then we would have to look at this potentially as a bigger five wave move where we have this is a one two three four five into this low this is a two 
effectively this would then be still within the third wave and we could actually look to push much deeper the end result of this would be a target more towards the 722 to the 511 zone um, like i said there's a couple of ways of counting this so this is one of the more bearish options however there is this option here which is slightly less bearish and that would be this one and that would be counting this as potentially looking to complete now so same same thing is still open is we could still form a um, diagonal structure here where this is a wave one two three four and five and we still actually set new lows here though this would then be a completed move and then we would actually look to push up in a much bigger uh much bigger three wave move at least um as a zigzag potentially so this is what I'm just keeping an eye on. If we fail to develop um, good impulsive structure to the upside here, we could still actually break down. So we need to just be careful with this. Uh, basically, the most bearish option would be that we are actually still in a much deeper move here. And we have a lot longer, a lot deeper to travel effectively. So what this would be looking at is effectively that we could have actually completed five wave movement here but like i said the structure isn't great so that means that we could still actually be in this this white third wave um looking to complete this and this would be looking at this even so this would subdivide it even more as a one two one two one two three four five now whether these additional fourths and fifths come in is still up for uh debate because like i said there's a couple of ways we can count this with extensions within it but we'll only know when we manage to either break above certain areas or whether we actually continue to sell off if we continue to sell off then potentially this would bring these target zones further down here and we could potentially look to move down into this area here of this um 1360 to this 10 cent range for a third wave within the structure in which case then we could be looking for an additional fourth and fifth here so if we if we do say that if we want to argue and say we are completed here with this with this third wave even though i don't like the internal structure um i don't see how we can count it as a impulse unless we look at this as a fourth wave into here and then we have a one two three four five to the downside with this as an a b and a c but the structure like i said is not very good um and basically what we'd be then looking for is if, it's, if this is the case and we have actually set a third wave here we'd be looking for a potential rejection in this 39.59 to this 24.57 and what we'd want to see is a what we'd want to see is a three wave move so we can argue that if this becomes a bigger corrective structure in that uh, w x y that could look to actually push us up into this zone um, alternatively if even if we develop that extension here we can argue that we potentially have a, have this as an a b and a c in which case we could look to to push up towards this zone here of this 3148 which ties in quite nicely with this 382 um, and some previous structure here and then we could actually still look to break down from there so you know it, whether we want to look at it as a diagonal or we can potentially be completed into this point but we need to see the structure develop in such a way that um what i'd want to see basically is to see this play out as a one two like we're saying potentially three four five we get that retracement and then we actually look to push up again in a one two three four five and then this move to hit this 1.618 once we get that kind of a, a move to the upside it becomes more more sort of um confirmed that we've actually got this got this playing out because then we'd have this as a one two three four and a five and then that five wave move the problem is even with that single five wave move we wouldn't have a hundred percent confirmation we'd only get confirmation on that retrace of the of the bigger five wave move um otherwise we could still potentially look at this as an a a b and then even if we do get a bigger five wave move like this this could just be a bigger flat correction here and then we could actually look to break down even deeper again so um it's one of those things that we're going to have to just take this level by level and see how we go there is potential for some bullish moves here but that's why we're sort of um looking at both the bullish and the bearish potentials here so that people can get a better idea of all the options and then take advantage of it whether it's moving um in one direction or the other 
Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Um, I'm always happy to hear back from you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And why not leave us some feedback down below as well. We're always happy to hear from you. In the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Why not come check it out. Where once you're in there, just at mention a member of the staff. And we'll be happy to help you out with anything you may need. Also in the description, there's affiliate links to Bybit and to um, Prime XBT, both great exchanges. They're the ones that we use on a regular basis for our trading. Uh, if you use the affiliate link, it rather helps the channel and uh, you know it does help support us. So if you don't have one of those um, accounts already, you know you can get a deposit bonus once you deposit a certain amount. All the information is on the website. Check it out. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Take care out there, everybody.